Hi, I'm Valerie Rofberg, a biostatistician and research associate in the Brown Center for Evidence Synthesis and Health. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to screen abstracts in Abstracker for a systematic review. So once you get to the Abstracker homepage and you log in, you'll see the list of all of the projects that you've been assigned as a team member on. To screen for a given project, go to the review you'd like to work on and click the screen button. And this will take you to the landing page. So here you can see everything you need to about a given abstract. So you have the title, the journal, authors, the abstract itself, and then any keywords associated with that abstract. If you read this abstract and you think it's relevant to your review, you can click the green check button and this will accept that abstract. If you think the abstract is not relevant, you'll click the red X and that will reject the abstract. If you're unsure about an abstract, say there's only a title and it sounds like it might be relevant, but you're not quite sure, you can click the question mark and this will assign a label of maybe. If at any point you want to edit the labels that you've assigned to these abstracts, you can click on review labels and you'll see a list of all of the abstracts you've already screened and the label you've assigned. Zero indicates maybe, negative one is a reject, and one is accept. If you want to change this, say you meant to reject this abstract, you can click on it, you'll see the label you've assigned, and you can just click a different button and it will reassign a label. Then you'll click back to screening to go back to new abstracts that you haven't seen yet. Abstracker has a really neat tool called Terms where you can highlight terms different colors to make them stand out on the page and expedite the screening process. So for example, say we're interested in the prison population. So we might want to highlight the word prison green. So now, once I see a new abstract pop up, anytime it says prison or prisoners or anything that has the word prison in it, it will be highlighted green and it may make me think that this abstract is more likely to be relevant just based on that. In order to highlight terms green, you will type the term here and click on the one thumbs up button. Say we're not interested in tuberculosis. I might want to highlight that term red. So I'll type tuberculosis and click two thumbs down. And now in all future abstracts, that word will be red. To highlight words blue, you can click two thumbs up and purple is one thumbs down. You might highlight words like intervention terms or study design terms, anything that will help you pick out the most important words in an abstract and help speed up the process. If you make a mistake at any point, say you click the wrong button or you no longer want a term highlighted, you can click review terms, see all of the words you've labeled so far, and either delete them or relabel them to a different color. So let's pretend this article is a systematic review and you want to indicate that somehow when you're looking at your screening results. You can click tag study and add a new tag, say systematic review. And click tag. And this will show up over here. So now you've indicated that you think this article is a systematic review. At any point you can edit the tags you can rename them or delete tags. And on all future abstracts, if you click on this tag study, you'll see the tags you've added in the past in a drop-down list to choose from. So you don't have to keep typing in the same tags. You can also add notes to abstracts. So say you want to add a comment about why you think an abstract should be accepted or rejected and just explain your reasoning a bit better to remember at the end. You can add general notes. You might want to add a note about a population subgroup of interest that you think the abstract mentions, um, things about interventions or comparators, or outcomes. Anything you type into this note field can be saved. And then when the results of your screening are exported, the notes and the tags and these labels that you've selected down here will show up in that export. And you can sort and subset by those things. So that's how you screen studies with Abstracker. In the next tutorial, we will talk about how to manage a review as a project lead. So how to manage conflicts between screeners and export and handle the results of your screening process.
See you next time.